OBGYN was engaged in sexual abuse and trafficking, luring individuals to his practice for the purpose of criminal exploitation. Put up the picture for a mass. New York City, OBGYN has been sentenced to 20 years for sex trafficking. Manhattan gynecologist Robert was officially sentenced 20 years behind bars on a sex trafficking conviction after luring vulnerable patients and sexually abused them for years. He was initially found guilty by a jury in January of enticing women to travel across state lines so he could sexually abuse them while he worked at city hospitals, including ones associated with Columbia University and New York Presbyterian. The hospitals he worked at were sued by over 200 former patients and have agreed to pay 236 million to settle those cases. Robert Haddon's malpractice spanned over four decades, beginning in 1987, with the last reported case in 2012. During this time, he committed 310 separate acts, separate acts of abuse on dozens of people in his care. Per the New York Post, that trial, Haddon's lawyers did not try to dispute that he engaged in this behavior against patients, but rather claimed since he already pleaded guilty in state court, he should not be convicted in the federal case. Another central part of his defense, central part of his defense was to claim that he did not knowingly entice his victims across state lines for abuse, a key element of a sex trafficking charge. Prosecutors sought at least 25 years imprisonment while lawyers for the convicted pervert pled for three. Haddon pled guilty in the 2016, in 2016 in a criminal case for the abuse of six patients while his medical license was stripped and officially bonded as a sex offender. He avoided jail time, he avoided jail time. Prior to his conviction, Haddon had been free on a $1 million bond since the 2020 arrest. Wow, Manhattan US Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement at the time of the conviction, for years, he cruelly lured women who sought professional medical care to his offices in order to gratify himself. Had his victims trusted him as a physician, only to instead become victims of his heinous predilection. We thank and commend the brave women who came forward to tell the stories, many of whom testified at trial to end his years long cycle of abuse. I want you to see a few factors here. The man was already convicted years prior, but avoided jail time avoided jail time. And yes, he had his medical license ripped away. But once again, I submit to you, these are the people we should make examples out of. Holding powerful positions of public trust, engaging in intentional manipulation against people to exploit them. But routinely we see that those who absolutely should know better are always given grace when no grace should be allowed. But the younger they are, and let's just be frank, the blacker they are, those graces lead the judicial system. It took another prosecution in order to close the chapter on this doctor's freedom. All right, Jeff Thompson.
Yeah, there's an update is uh, from the New York Post. Depraved gynecologist Robert Hatton turned on the waterworks in Manhattan federal court, telling a judge he was very sorry before he was officially sentenced to 20 years behind bars. This man is a monster. Yeah, that is it. This yeah. man is a monster for that to go on for so long without Justin being justice being offered to these women being involved in this is gross. I can't believe we're reporting this right now. Like usually when we do stuff, I'm like, yeah, that sounds like America. And trust me, we can go through other situations similar to this because one happened at my alma mater, the Ohio State University, very similar to this, where a trusted individual in power took advantage of women, or in this case, little girls. But yeah, this man is a monster. He needs to be put away for a really, really, really long time. That's right. And the judicial system that initially allowed him to avoid jail time, well, they're monsters too, just mm. dress nicer.